December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Today, 81 years later, we remember the lives lost during the attack on Pearl Harbor. Nearly 2,400 service members and civilians died that day, and our country's history was forever changed. Here at Arlington National Cemetery, dozens of those who died in this attack, as well as those who survived and went on to serve during World War II, are laid to rest in these hallowed grounds. Of the 15 sailors, ranging from seaman to rear admiral, who were awarded the Medal of Honor for their actions that day, three are buried at Arlington. Lieutenant Commander Samuel Fuqua was on board the USS Arizona when it was hit during the attack. Despite being knocked unconscious by a bomb that struck the ship's stern early in the assault, he regained consciousness and went on to direct firefighting and rescue efforts. After the ship's forward magazine exploded, Fuqua became the senior surviving officer and directed the ship's evacuation. He left on the last boat of survivors leaving the USS Arizona and was awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions. Fuqua is buried in Section 59. Gunner Jackson Ferris was in charge of an ordnance repair party on the USS California when a torpedo struck directly below his duty station. Even though he was severely injured, he set up an ammunition train to keep the ship's anti-aircraft gun supplied. Despite his wounds and the fumes from the damaged ship, which twice rendered him unconscious, Ferris persisted in his efforts to resupply the ship's guns and rescue unconscious shipmates. He was awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions. Ferris is buried in Section 13. Machinist mate First Class Robert Scott was stationed on the USS California during the attack. When a torpedo hit the compartment where Scott was assigned and it began flooding, he refused to leave the air compressor he was stationed at. Scott did not leave his battle station while the remainder of his crew evacuated the compartment, saying words to the effect, This is my station and I will stay and give them air as long as the guns are going. He died in the attack, and he was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor. Scott is buried in Section 34. We remember these brave heroes as well as all of the casualties of the attack on Pearl Harbor. The work of honoring Pearl Harbor victims continues today, with the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency pursuing its mission of providing the fullest possible accounting for our nation's missing personnel from past conflicts including finding and identifying soldiers, sailors, and marines who perished in the attack on Pearl Harbor. Many of those who have been successfully identified have been laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery. They now rest alongside their brothers and sisters in arms at our nation's most sacred shrine. We will never forget their service and sacrifice.